Alright everybody, what is going on? How you all doing? We are here with Life is Strange. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my throat bugging me today. But uh, we are here with Life is Strange on the PlayStation 4. Um, and to be honest with you guys, other than this being an episodic type series, I know just about nothing on it, to be honest with you. Um, I saw that some people uploaded videos of this game on YouTube. I was like, what is this? Uh, and then I looked it up on, I believe it's like Wikipedia or something like that. And I saw that it was an episodic game uh, being published by Square Enix. Um, and I was like, I can't believe I didn't really see anything on this. And uh, I thought the art style looked pretty interesting. I don't know any of the story or the gameplay or anything on this game. I don't know the story, nothing. It's completely blind to me. But it's by Square Enix. I do like Square Enix, and uh, I think this is pretty much like the first time they've done like a episodic type game at all. So uh, I just booted up the game. This is uh, the first screen it shows me. So I'm gonna be creating my save system there, and uh, I did purchase the whole season of this game, so I'll be recording it for you guys. I thought it'd be something interesting to do. Um, I want to make sure the subtitles are there, the music getting turned down all the way uh, I know a lot of you don't really like that but that's YouTube is just a bitch sometimes I apologize but I like to get in as little trouble as possible when it comes to copyright stuff on YouTube but let's go ahead and uh, I don't know how many episodes there's gonna be I think there's gonna be five and I think there's like three weeks in between each one or something like that so episode two is out so I'll be playing through one through two right now uh, getting caught up for you guys so I uh, hope you all can show a lot of love and support on this series. I'd very much appreciate it. And uh, if you guys are watching, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, I'm pretty curious to what is your favorite walkthrough that you've seen of mine. I'm uh, pretty curious, but uh, let's go ahead and just start a new game. Pretty interested to see what this game is. Uh, Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences in your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Um. Okay. So well, I'm already getting an Alan Wake vibe. All right, so we're as playing as a young girl right now. She looks to be in her, I don't know, early teens maybe. Doesn't look like I can do anything. I like the art style, pretty interesting. Kind of reminds me of stuff like Quantum Conundrum, stuff like that. So, oh my god, what is that? Is that, like a, is that supposed to be a tornado? Alright. Getting a very Bioshock Infinite vibe, too. I think it's just because of the lighthouse and the coastal area we're in. Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Light. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro, 
Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why are... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. This. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I could frame any one of you in a dark I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. And any one of you could do that to me. I'll take a selfie. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... Okay, uh... I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I haven't kept up with my you journal as much as I should. In your textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Well, our teacher's kind of a douchebag. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Yeah, look at her over there. She's a whore. Printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. So I guess this uh, girl here wants to be <clears throat> a photographer of sorts. God, I can never go one recording session without my throat fucking up. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Yeah, computers straight out of 2005. Look at that. Should I use it? I feel like I'll get in trouble. Who's Kate? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video? Oh, okay, there we go. I can read it in plain text. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Holy crap, she looks like she's been doing lines of coke or something. She, uh, she's wearing a cross necklace, too. Uh. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Victoria has already won. Want to go grab a cup of tea? Oh, sure. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. She doesn't, uh... 
She definitely did. It looks like she's doing some amount of drugs. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Not bad. Someone's a fan of Photoshop. I like taking a look around. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. All right. So far, this uh, school scenario seems, I don't know, exaggerated from my school life. I mean, it's accurate, just a little exaggerated. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Oh, okay, so if she's saying that this our female protagonist here must be older than 15. She looks like she's in her young teens, though. Her head doesn't really look like it matches her body, though. Oh, well. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Alright, product GRLT64S with a speed and power expected from the new greenlit. Uh, the GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level depth, sharpness, and malleability. Holy shit, 5299 bucks. I don't think so. I'll take a look around. Was this etched markings? Huh, this might make a cool shot. I guess our character here likes the old school cameras. I know nothing about photography, so I'm not even going to go into the possibilities of Man, that. he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I guess our character here likes documentaries. There are some good ones out there. Even in pictures. The forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Kind of depressing. Uh, should I talk to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. What's up with her, like, sense of style? I don't know. Her clothes make no sense to me. Whoa. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Alright, should I even speak to him? I feel like there's going to be a lot of people I'm going to be hating. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, I'd just hand him the fucking photo. I mean, if he really wants to see it that bad, I'd just fucking you know, give it to him, tell him to shut the fuck up. Take a look at the books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The Amazing Eugene Smith? 
Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I really feel like I shouldn't be playing this game. I feel like an idiot. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? This chick has a hard on for camera equipment. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Film versus digital. Who will win? Huh. Alright, I guess we can get the fuck out of here. I think I looked at just about everything. Maybe not everything on this back wall. Oh, yep. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like an interesting bunch. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. Who doesn't have electronic mail? Anyway. Well, the game takes place in America. We got photo contest. Oh, is this Here's what he was talking about? For the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Of infamy. Tell she's... Positive. Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submitted image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline, October 15th, 2013. The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the DeYoung Museum of Art on October 20th, 2013. You may submit one image on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent, permission, a parent permission form must be included with the image. Alright. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to hang The fuck is she talking about like a... She plays it so I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant plant. All right, well, this is kind of an awkward moment. There's no, uh... I like the way they did that scene there. There would, of course, more than likely be music here, but, uh... You know. I had to turn that shit off. I apologize. I don't like turning stuff like that off, especially when it's, like... Kind of... A critical thing in the game like right now but oh I did notice like there's some overweight chicks in this school and they all seemed like oddly shaped like they look like potatoes I haven't seen any fat dudes yet though the dudes kind of look like they're really skinny at the bottom and then their torso is like fucking jacked I think that's Courtney she's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria I don't want to talk to any of these bitches. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I already forget, was Victoria the one sucking up to the dude in the classroom? Science room. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Okay. There's a lot of shit to look at. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. All right, Rachel Amber, age 19. 
All right, Arca Arcadia Bay Sheriffs. All right, looks like this game takes place in Arcadia Bay around there. Okay. Poster. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. I gave blood once, and that was just to get out of class for a little bit. I'm a terrible influence. Don't do that, kids. Give blood because it's good. Yeah, see, like, she's kind of a heavier set woman, and she just looks oddly shaped to me. And on this dude, like, he looks like he's pretty built upstairs. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I just use my phone for checking Twitter. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yeah, yeah that shit never works. Was this my locker? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. So I shouldn't open it, but I want to see what's inside. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Who's Jack? Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Andy? Who's Andy? Andy Warhol? I don't know. Don't smoke. If you care, don't pollute the air. We all deserve clean lungs. Oh, that's going to stop him. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. You know, he's like the only normal looking one here. Lady, I don't know if you know, but uh, you got holes in your pants. You should probably fix that. And uh, you got a little cleavage hanging out there. Um, shirt's a little uneven. Looks like you may have a, a little nip slip. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They oh. must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Wow, a cheerleader that's actually nice to you? Hey. What do you know? Stella. Oh, aren't you in the photo class? Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Alright, that chick that just passed me had a huge forehead. There's a book up there. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Hmm. She doesn't bother me in any particular way. Oh, we got some bullying going on here. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Hey, go for it. Although, dude does look like he's about six, six foot tall. Anyway, another missing persons poster. Ooh, a Halloween party. I wish October would last forever. Halloween! Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Okay. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Alright, over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline. Oh, okay, so we're in Oregon, apparently. Including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Way to rhyme! That's a way to attract... I don't want to look at more missing persons posters. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You know... Right as I was leaving, right as I was graduating school was when they decided, oh, we need to get rid of vending machines in our schools. They contain too many fatty foods. Me, 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 me. Fucking assholes. If I don't get a fucking soda, I'm going to fucking lose my shit right there in your fucking school cafeteria. 
You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Well, anyway, all those two are flirting over there. She's going to get knocked up soon. Typical high school story. Gun-free zone. Good thing I left my AK at home. Hey, well. Who's Hayden? There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, wow. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. The f I want, I'm curious to know what the Vortex Club even is. What, what is this? Goddamn missing posters. Okay, well, there's... Assuming the men's bathroom, the women's bathroom. Join the chess team. What does she have to say about that? Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Nerd alert. Yeah, okay. Because you can speak about that. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. So you like weirdos. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. I won't judge. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Swim like an otter? That doesn't really look like an otter. Anyway. Alright, Samuel, get out of the way. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Well. Now, he's not a skater. He's not wearing skin-tight jeans. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Oh, well. I can sense the school spirit oozing out of you, Miss Grant. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Okay. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. What a bum. All right. She walks slow, like, just regular walk, and I walk like ten times faster than this. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> okay. Well, it looks like the school's part of the Illuminati. See the pyramid on the wall. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Amber is a bitch. Man, they talking shit about a missing person? That's fucked up. This was a nice school. It's fucking like Detroit in the freaking bathroom. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yeah, it's possible. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Well. Very positive, tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> okay. This poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Kate twerks for God. Okay, you can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side. So is common sense. You use it. Yeah, you folks don't have common sense. Fucking I hate Victoria Chase. Hey, me too. Who was that again? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Oh, well. At least something good came out of it. Seriously, man, this this school seems like ritzy. They really need to get Samuel to clean these freaking bathrooms. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it.
when a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Butterfly. Uh oh. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So, what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? All right, hold L2 to rewind. Of faces. You feel like totally Man, this school, by... this is the weirdest freaking school. Um takes like every drastic scenario and just leaves out all the normal shit I did it Can you give I me actually a did it a photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine and and anybody Bueller? Max don't yeah. freak out not yet there you go Victoria why Arvis because of her Keep it together Max faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. All right. <clears throat> Taking a selfie. I could frame any one of you oh, in yeah. a dark corner and capture you in a moment. Everyone of loves selfies. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh... I don't understand why I couldn't just answer the question. Uh... I don't know. I feel like ashamed either way to answer this. Fuck it. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. 
Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? All right. Well, I guess I rewind again. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly wanted... All right, so... The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> Burn! The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. All right, I guess it's time to get the fuck out of here and go stop a school shooting. I see you, Max Caulfield. Uh -oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, press I one to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Like, they want me to do that? Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. Bitch, no, shut Victoria. up. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's futures- Uh, da, da, da. sure. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, burn, bitch. Yeah, she can go fuck her sale. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Of course I do. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Bitch, you are crazy, but it's all right. Crazy is the new saying. Yo, Daniel. You remember that it's payday? Well, hey there, Hayden. How's it going, buddy? Hey there, random dude. Wearing really tight pants. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me I what need to... a hammer to break I'm it so open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever go. even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Of people trying to control me. All right. Hella more trouble. Oh, I already have it. Than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. I'm 
Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? That's Do a good not question. Freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Alright, well, first of all, fuck you, phone. And two, the principal knows my name. That cannot be a good sign. Can I talk to him? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh... I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Uh... I guess... Actually, I'm not sure it is a good thing to rewind this decision. Um... Because to be honest, I mean, I can see the benefits of doing that, but at the same time, like, if something does happen with that kid... I would like to just be able to point a finger out and be like, you motherfucker should have listened to me. Max, you better go on outside. Now. So I think I will keep this the way it is. I think. Sure. Oh, he was getting called to the office. <clears throat> this will be interesting. Uh, oh my god, how many missing persons posters do you gotta put up on one single facing thing? I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. What the hell's a Razorback? I have no idea what a Razorback is. Uh, so we got Hayden again. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. But, uh, let's talk to him. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. 
It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Uh. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Nah, I think I'm good. I don't think so. I'm not Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. So is the Vortex Club just a group of people who get together and fucking get high? This school makes no fucking sense to me, I swear to god. Hey, we got a gym freak! Warren, what the? Journal? What? Wait, what's going on here? Is this my phone? How far does it? Okay. Uh, do you want to meet for a coffee after school? Any excuse to not study, please? Make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Uh, hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. Sorry if we. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello. Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Um. So I got pictures. Pictures. I got episode two over there. Uh. Looks like there's dad, Kate, mom, Warren. Is Warren like... Who's Warren? I don't okay, know. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Alright, gotta get to the dorm, so... The dorm rooms, I'm assuming, maybe this way? Athletic field, main building. I don't know, is there anyone I want to talk to right here? Coins? This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Uh, if I got my wish, there'd be no more humans on this planet. It'd be ruled by fucking penguins. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Uh, she really likes the the skaters. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash. Crash. I don't know how to answer half these questions. Like, I don't... None of these people are the type of people I get along with. I have no idea how to talk to them. Crash? You mean stage diving, or...? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Uh... I don't like the way he fucking talked to me, douchebag. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. I came to no slide. If I say that, they're probably gonna fucking give me a skateboard and say, oh, here you go. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skateboard shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh! 
in the nuts. How's it going there, buddy? You just got hit in the nuts. Take a photo of that shit. That was a fucking Kodak moment right there. Hey, buddy, how you doing down there? Oh, man, look at his face. Fucking getting hit in the nuts turned him into a stereotypical old, like, angry Asian man. I'm, like, turning my own head to see if I can, like, look underneath him. Okay, who the fuck is flying a, a drone? Is that that chick with the tablet over there? Is she doing that? I need to go talk to her. I can't talk to him. Dude got hit in the nuts. That was pretty funny. Alright. Why, hello there, drone flyer. Yeah, I like your backpack. Looks like she has the box for the drone in her backpack. What's going on? Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. I wonder if she's gonna catch me going through her shit. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm gonna rewind that. I'm gonna go back. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Let me guess. Okay, there we go. I guess I did that kind of, sort of, right? That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Whoa. Doesn't look like I can control it or anything, so... Oh, nice. She's got skills. The dude on that thing back there looked like Trevor. Oh, did I rewind my moment with the skater dudes? Because the dude's up and moving again. Dude's not uh, on the ground writhing in pain because he got hit in the nuts. I may have undid my, uh... Yo, Justin. Check out... I came to know... Oh, sick. Nah. I... Oh. Go for it. Let's get... Oh! Okay, let's take that picture again. Or, I guess I don't need to. Okay. I guess the moment was still there, I just could have redone it. Oh, hey, Mr. Daniel. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? 
I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Oh, well. Uh... I don't know, dude kind of sounded like a weirdo. Um, honestly, if this was a real-life scenario, I'd tell the person to go fuck themselves, but... Fuck, man, I don't know. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Dude sounds like a fucking creeper. Uh. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. I like her shoes. Good. Good. Dude sounds like a creeper. Best portrait ever. Dude's pretty good. This action will have consequences. Consequences? Like, negative consequences? Or good ones? Like, god damn it. I probably fucked up. What the hell happened here? That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Hey, lady. Sunbathing. High as fuck, maybe. Let's go say hi to Stella, who's talking to some Barbie lookalike. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh... I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Hey. Still is not a bad, uh... It's not a bad person. She's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 